Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will see how to do response spectrum analysis in SAP 2000. First, we will have assign the seismic loading. Seismic or less seismic loading as per UBC 97, we have considered this coefficient values here. See load pattern. This is the values we have used for this is for x direction and this one for y direction okay now we will check our mesh source define mesh source this one we have to ensure before going to response spectrum analysis or before regular analysis with the seismic effect also this mesh source is used in base shear calculation and will affect in displacement of the structure in seismic modes okay so 100 percent of dead load and 25 percent of live load we have to consider for seismic effect that means 100 percent of the dead load and 25.5 percent of live load will be available in the structure during the earthquake and that mass will affect for the seismic displacement define model case now we will define model case go to define dot cases here is the model case by default there is one model case in our program so that one we can modify we will use this loss case type model type of modes agent agent and reads vector we have discussed in previous tutorial on response spectrum analysis in etabs and number of modes we will use here we have eight number of floors here in the model so three mass degrees of freedom per floor two translational translational and one rotational here floor number eight total degree of freedom will be 24 so initially we will provide 24 modes 24 okay and this hall we will keep same as default all these things we have discussed in the previous tutorial on response response spectrum analysis in etabs you can check that tutorial for more details okay then will define response spectrum function okay define function response response spectrum this one initially it will be available here we will add response spectrum analysis as per ebc 97 add new function rs ubc 97 okay this one function dynamic ratio 5% and seismic coefficient CA we have used CA here 0.36 and CV 0 0.54 36 0 0.54 ok now click on ok now we will go for our response spectrum load case load case here define load case add new load case ok rs response spectrum this one we will select if no combination we will, we will use srss and model combination we will use cqc CQC means complete quadrilateral combination and SRSS means square root sum of the squares. This is preferable for finding critical direction of seismic motion with respect to principal axis of building. Okay. This one model. We'll use acceleration UBC RS UBC 97 scale factor we will keep same as it is 
we will modify it after the first trial of analysis u2 add okay model damping constant we will use this constant 5% damping and eccentricity ratio we will use 5% Now we will click on OK and done. Now we will run the analysis. In SAP 2000, analysis speed is more than it has, so it will be finished within less time. So, analysis done. Now we will display the table. Here we will go for not case analysis result model information here see this model load participation ratio what is 99 percent so it is more than 90 percent so our mode number is okay if it is less than 90 percent we have to increase the mode number now we will check base reaction display table here we will go down here you see global x direction base share 510.24 and qy 510.24 and here response spectrum this share global fx 100 1182 now we will divide this one to find our scale factor e by rs so go to calculator here 510.24 divided by 118 2.41 this one our scale factor copy this one and now we will go to load case here we will put our scale factor 0.43 modify modify ok done now we will run analysis again so finished display show table here we will check again see here this is almost same in this way we can adjust our base share factor in the response spectrum load case so thanks for watching and stay tuned for more important tutorials here i will see another shape for this response this is the response deformed shape okay we can see in our extrude mode this will look like this and if we see other load cases qx seismic in x direction seismic in y direction
press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.